Shalom. Today we are continuing our seminar, Biblical Feasts of Israel, as key points in the relationship of God and man. Today we have a second lesson. It's called Sabbath, Shabbat. Let us open the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, and read from verse 1 to 3. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, These are my appointed festivals. The, the appointed festivals of the Lord, which you are to proclaim as sacred assemblies. These are six days where you may work, but the seventh day is a day of Sabbath rest, a day of sacred assembly. You are not to do any work wherever you live. It is a Sabbath to the Lord. Any relationship must start from some kind of point. On the basis of the scriptures, the Lord has called this point, and this point is Sabbath. I don't want you to understand me incorrectly, as if I am calling my Gentile brothers and sisters to stop celebrating Sunday and turn to celebrating Jewish Sabbath. The purpose of this seminar is not this action. Let everyone do and, and celebrate the feasts that, uh, that he has decided. The, the Jews Sabbath and the Gentiles Sunday. But on the basis of the scriptures, we see how God speaks to the Isra Israelites that he has chosen Sabbath. Sabbath is the beginning of our building our relationship with him. Why is it so important to sell, uh, separate one day for God? When a person decides to separate one day for God, it's, it's when it's as if he makes two statements. The first statement is that he believes in God, and the second statement is that he believes his words. And the second statement is that, that, God, that man says that he needs God. Without these two statements, we cannot start building proper relationship with God. Let us imagine the situation. If a person doesn't believe in the existence of another person. Can he build a proper relationship with him? Or if another person doesn't believe that he needs another person, can he build a proper relationship with him? Of course not. God is a person. And in order for us to build a proper relationship with God, we need to build a proper relationship with him and, and God. So, there are two kinds of people that can't build a proper relationship with God. The first group is the kind of people that don't believe in God or don't believe His words. And the second group of people is the people who believe in God but don't believe that they need God. They may do some kind of religious rituals, come to the synagogue or church, but without having any need in God, in in a ability in God, they won't have this desire to build a proper relationship with God. We know that God is the initiator of building relationship of man and God. That's why God decides the conditions we must uh, accomplish in order to build a proper relationship with Him and how to separate this day for Him. The first condition is for us to build proper relationship with God is we, the first condition we must draw near to Him. Not that He needs to draw near to God because God is closer to us than our feet and legs. And, but we must decide to draw near to God. That's the first condition. After the person decides to draw near to God, the second condition from God is to separate some time for Him, to separate one day a week for Him in order to draw near to Him that day. That's the second condition. And there is a third condition, of course. The third condition is to, to draw near to God in this separated day with other believers, brothers or sisters, in a consecrated time. In the scriptures, the, God does not talk about the format of the meeting. The meeting can be held in all kinds of formats. It can be held in a, in, a, in a big congregation in four walls, or in a four walls in a small congregation. It can be held in the four walls of a private house. It can be held in a home congregation. It can be held on a nature. We know that 
The first believers' church, believers, when they didn't have any opportunity to, be, to meet in a building, they met in the Roman catacombs or some other places, or maybe near the river. So you know, there is no certain format of a holy convocation, how to have a meeting. The main thing is what's important is the principle. We can meet by Zoom. We found out that if we can meet even in Zoom. During the corona crisis, the Lord has not only sent the corona, He's also sent uh, Zoom meetings where we could meet by Zoom. And our, our abilities to meet uh, together were limited. So the main thing is not the format of the meetings, but the principle. I want to return to these three basic principles, how to keep Shabbat, to keep Sabbath, and, and separate day for the Lord. The first thing, we must draw near to God. The second thing, in order for us to draw near to God, we must separate one day a week for Him. For Jews, it's Saturday. For, for the Gentiles, it's Sunday. And the third thing is to do it together with other brothers and sisters that feel the need in God and desire to draw near to God and desire to accomplish God's will. Let us open Isaiah 58 and read verses 13 and 14. If you keep your feet from breaking the Sabbath and from doing as you please on my holy day, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the Lord's holy day honorable, and if you honor it not by going your own way and not doing as you please or speaking idle words, then you'll find your joy in the Lord. And I will cause you to ride in triumph on the heights of the land and to feast on the inheritance of Father Jacob, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. May the Lord bless you and us on this journey and help us to build proper relationship with God. Many blessings to you.